hands down the greatest setup I have ever seen for cal for uh, tracking life. The I'm going to steal this idea. I'm going to do this from now on. I'm going to bring a roll of toilet paper to track life at YCS's from now on. So earlier today, I tweeted out saying that, uh, well, I didn't tweet out. I posted on the community page on YouTube saying that I want you guys to send me your setup. And I'm going to rate how it is that you guys uh, actually duel. How it is that you actually, what's the swag you use when you show up to an event? What is it you're trying to do? So I got a bunch of used to, uh, to tweet me out here. And I guess we're just going to go through and see uh, see who, who wins. Now, I, I have a prize in mind for the winner. We'll see how it goes, if it's actually worth it. But yeah, let's uh, let's see who's got who's... Uh, so I'm going to scroll up my feed here, and I'm going to see what kind of setups you guys here. So uh, the first ever person to tweet me this was three hours ago. Dark Magician is meta, I swear. Uh, he's got... It looks like some hentai-looking tour guide. So already I know what kind of person you are. Uh, rate my setup. Um, thoughts? It looks like a carpet with, uh, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, the hentai tour guide probably explains uh, exactly what kind of duelist you are. Next, we've got Brian. A timer for giving my opponent exactly 0.01 seconds to respond in a 3DS to count life points with the official Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds World Championships 2010 life points calculator. All right, so you got a little stopwatch there. You're using an Ultra Pro standard deck case. Uh, you're playing Scrambled Egg in your deck, and it's a Shining Victory sneak peek map. A sneak peek map. Really? Is this the is, is this what you've come out with? Like, do you just really like Crystal Wing, or what? I mean, I don't know. All right, okay. Uh, good job with the stopwatch, by the way. Nice little nice little touch there. You know, I hope you show up to events with the uh, with the referee jersey and shit. That uh, that that's 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 some shit. All right, uh, pretty good setup, honestly. Anyone who shows up with a Nintendo DS on their table probably is going to piss me off a little bit at an event. But yeah, this is this is uh, this is completely awful. If I saw this, I would think to myself, "Yes, yeah, this is a free win." So you're not really doing much for intimidating your opponent. Next, we've got Corey. This is my kid setup, completely broken. I think the balls of Play-Doh are some sort of bar bartering chips. All right, so this is your son's um, his setup. Okay, so it's it's a uh, so is this your back row or is this your monster zone? Is so what what is like what's what's going on here? Like what are we trying to do? Like cuz uh cuz uh you know you're not I I I got to say I'm sure your kid's a nice guy but you're not really like doing much for parenting. Okay? I don't know how qualified you are as a parent because if uh, if I ever uh gave my kid uh blue eyes cards to put in their deck, I would expect uh child services to be called immediately. So, yeah, that's kind of what I think about this setup. Uh, nice try, though. All right, we've got a setup here from Vladimir. Okay, Vladimir going with that red uh, uh, mat there. So, uh, Q Soviet Union uh, National Anthem. Uh, we've got a Cosmo player. Uh, so, uh, that seems to be the meta over in the, over in the east is, uh, is Cosmo. And he's, uh, he's got an Ultimate Guard deck box. Uh, Ultimate Guard's okay. But I don't know why you're using like the the uh, like the deck storage thing for dueling. Like, do you show up with a YCS with like a deck storage thing? You just whip out like a 500 cards and then you like build your deck in front of your opponent. Um, I hate these dice. Like, I really hate like the the D and D dice. Um, I don't really know what's going on with the mat. Like, what kind of design is this? It's like a handprint thing. Um, is this like the blood or like the infrared signal of someone that you like last dueled and beat? Uh, regardless, you know, there's some Cosmo cards on your deck on your table. Probably not really uh, going to be intimidating anyone with that kind of deck. All right, we've got Trisbania. Hey, fuck boy. Bully my setup that I use. This isn't my main one, but it will have to suffice. Okay, so uh, what is this? I think this is another a, a sneak peek mat. Is this uh, Duelist? Is it Duelist Alliance? What is? What is? What, what mat is this? Um, your your camera looks like it's literally you know uh, from about ten years ago. Uh, what monster is this? Is this an armor factor? Is it, it's a Vendred? I, I can't really see what... I, I'm not really sure what you're playing here. Uh, based on camera quality alone here, I think this is probably a 0 out of 10. Uh, there's a Barrage I just noticed. What are you playing? You're playing Barrage ABC. Uh, yeah, this is a no from me, Trisbania. Nice try. Uh, Purple Meta Knight. As I mostly play online, here is my favorite setup.
Okay, I mean, if we're going to seriously rate this, you're using the default YGO Pro skin. Like, that's terrible. Nice try, though. Um, Atti can't beat my sign googly-eyed Farfa. So this is our admin here at Tune 44. Um, now, this is the most important thing of the, in this picture, okay? You see here? You see this here in the middle? This is a Farfa. This is, this is an actual Farfa. An actual Farfa with googly eyes. With 3D googly eyes as a field center. Now, I don't think there's anything better than, than this to be used as a field center. This is probably the greatest field center that anyone can ever play. Now, um, I don't know about, about your deck. What is this? Spellbook something? Uh, the deck's trash. The mat is a, a judge mat, so I hope you've won this. If you haven't won this, then uh, you don't really win judge mats. I don't know. Uh, which one is this? Mobius, I think? Uh, I, 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 I hate judge matches. Um, but you seem to have every one of the pre-reg YCS dice of every color. So you're either really good at playing the RNG, by the way. Egg, golden egg sandwich here. GX tag for just saying. That episode's coming soon. Uh, you're either really good with your RNG here, or you, uh, you're you paid to win, okay? Because uh, I, I promise you getting different elements of dice isn't going to win you any regionals. This deck box is very nice. It's the nicest deck box that we can ever get from uh, Konami Prize Support. So kudos on getting, on. Uh, I, I hope you won this, on winning the uh, hot pink uh, regional deck box. Uh, if you've won this, then that is a massive kudos. Um, you got the little May figurine over there. That's pretty cool. I don't know about this monitor, by the way. BenQ, like... What are we like? Are we, are we are we playing Overwatch on a budget on a, on a budget? Like you can literally get like a like a hundred forty four hertz monitor for like one hundred fifty dollars, which isn't too much to ask. I don't think for a for a big monitor. Uh, so work on the monitor. But the setup, uh, the mats letting you down realistically. The sleeves, uh, it's, it's plain black sleeves. It's uh, nah, okay. But the field center is definitely uh, this 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 could be a winner. This could be a winner. All right, Swanda Tsunaishi. Um, it's, uh, his deck had everything max rarity, by the way. Feels good to beat Kaiba. So, you're, um, ooh, I like this, like, uh, table cover thing. Like, what is that? Like, some kind of, like, velvety, like, dark red. Like, oh, man, I'd, like, make that into a mat. Shit. Um, you know, two-player mats are, like, cool and stuff because, right, you know, it makes your opponent put the shit in the right zone. However, you know, I don't like sharing. Maybe that's just me. I don't like sharing. Uh, I don't like letting my opponent share uh, because I don't want their filthy Drew Draco cards on my mat. I do not want their disgusting and just d filthy, filthy card demises to touch my property. Okay? I don't want that on my property. So, uh, I just noticed these. Uh... Okay. So, if my opponent sat down and they pulled out this deck box... I would think that either one, you're a sex offender, or two, you're uh, you're a sex offender. So you know, it, I don't, I'm not a fan of these, right? The only thing this way this could get worse is if you had some kind of furry on uh, on your uh, on your deck box, okay? But and the sleeves as well, and this you really went the extra mile with the uh, with this stuff, okay? You really went, you're really trying to support Konami's uh, Konami's pedo agenda, okay? Um, I don't know why you're playing dinosaurs. Uh, just there should be trick stars on on the field at this point, uh, for both you and your opponent. This should just be a trick star mirror match. Okay, we've got a Azuri Mech Knight. Rate my setup. I can't afford the deck box, so I use the deck box that some Dragon Shields came in. I have my stuffed cat with me at all times for more support. So you're a poor furry, is what you're telling me. So you're a poor furry. You're a furry who also can't afford to be a furry correctly. I have my first point of polymerization, so I made up a fusion monster to summon with it. I, I first... I have the first print of polymerization. Okay, well, that's a magic card polymerization, by the way. Is that first edition? Why does it not say first edition? I don't know too much about that. Um, so we've got a new fusion monster that's been designed here. Five, six, seven. I can't read the text. It seems like it's... Uh, oh, went too far out. Supo... Su 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 supo strong? Fusion effect. The best strong monster card. Attack. Three, three, three. So what is this? One million billion trillion? One trillion attack, I think? One trillion attack. 
Okay, so this maybe might take a game off Arrow Mages if they don't heal enough. Um, as for your deck box, so you're telling me this is the retail standard box that people put on their... Um, uh, uh, like on the shelves, like this is what the retailers put on the shelves, and then there's like packs of sleeves. Is this what you're telling me this is? You know, it's like the cardboard box. That ho is, is this what you're using as the um, as as your deck uh, as uh, the thing that holds your cards? I don't know how you guys leave the house sometimes. I would be embarrassed to show up to an event with these kind of with this kind of setup. I would literally be embarrassed to show up to an event with this kind of setup. Like, what are you trying to prove here? Like, hey, I have less money than you. Is that what you're trying to do? Now, it ain't all about money. We ain't trying to flex, but like, come on. You know, what? I, 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 I came from my locals and I asked the shopkeeper if he has any deck boxes in the back uh, or in the bin, pretty much. Like, hey, uh, you know that recycling bin over there? You got any deck boxes in there? I could use one. Now, as for the dice, I really, really hate uncoordinated dice. You've got like nine different versions. Um, you know, I bet you're one of those guys who sits down in front of your opponent's like, which die? Pick a dice! Pick a die! Which one do you want to use? You know, like, it's some kind of honor. Like, here you go. Pick a dice. Any dice you want. Any dice you want. I'm just like, can we just roll, like, add dice? Like, I've got my own dice. Thank you. Let's, let's move on. All right. Thanks, Azuri Mech Knight. Um, Ziprokun with the, yep, okay. Uh, hentai, uh, profile pick, of course. Not that of a comp competition deck, more like a fun deck. Invoked Metaphys. Invoked Metaphys, okay. Uh, well, interesting deck choice. As for your setup, it just seems to be a standard deck case and the uh, uh, Dark Side of Dimension playmat. That's like, could you, like, this, this is, could you really be any much more of a normie? <laughs> this is as normie as normie can be. This is really, this is the most standard normie you can be. If my opponent sat down, I would just think to myself, okay, this guy's playing Ancient Gears or he's playing some deck that runs Umi. That, that's that's my opponent. Yeah, 9, nine, nine 10 card, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 card extra deck, 10, 10 card extra deck, Dark Side of the Mansion's uh, um, uh, playmat. Yeah, I think to myself, yeah, this guy's definitely playing Ancient Gears or like Cubics. So... You know, you guys got to intimidate your, your opponents more. You guys really got to intimidate your opponents more. Uh, deer God. It's literally... I, I govern the life of deer. I'm composed of mostly teen angst, memes, and sarcasm. Deer God. Okay. Well, anyway, let's check out your setup here. So, uh, you've got bottle caps. What? Bottle caps? What do you need these for? You like flipping bottle caps for... Uh, for the effect of a uh, fucking blowback dragon? Barrel dragon? You playing barrel dragon? What do you need ball caps for? What are these for? Anyway, uh, these dice look kind of cool, but again, I, I just hate them being different um, sizes and brands and Fallout. Oh, right, okay. So either you're dueling in a post-apocalyptic environment where there's no food and water and everything's like radioactive. So, you know, the currencies become bottle caps and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, apparently. So, at least you're prepared for the apocalypse, you know, if, if there's an ever an apocalypse, if there's ever the end of the world, this guy's ready to duel. He's got bottle caps. Uh, the card sleeves aren't too bad. I do like the, the, these are either KMC they look like, let's try zoom in a little bit. They do kind of look like maybe player's choice? I haven't used player's choice in ages, man. Player's choice just haven't, like, yo, if anyone wants to hit me up with some player's choice sleeves, please send me them. Because, like, I haven't played with PC whites in so long, they just, they just don't do that in Europe anymore. Um, but yeah, sleeves aren't too bad. Reds, eh, I don't know. Maybe it goes with the theme of your deck. The mat is like custom made, it seems. I don't really know what it is. I don't know what it, like wh where this is from, but it doesn't impress me. Okay, Adam. Uh, so we've got Candina. And uh, is that reincarnation? I, probably is reincarnation. Uh, Droll's in the graveyard, of course. So we're trying to show... Uh, this is what we set up with. This is our first turn board. This is what we want. We want the Trickstar Link, which I don't know the name of. Uh, Pokemon Field Center. I really hate when people use, like, cards from other games as their field centers. It's, uh, I, I, when they have other cards as their field center, nah, okay, whatever. All right, we've got the standard Ultimate Guard deck box. It lo looks a little bit worn here. We're not really, you know, you haven't decorated, no stickers or anything on it. Eh, it's fine. This mat, I don't really know what this is. But it's got Yu-Gi-Oh! relevant zones in it, so I mean, at least uh, you're not going to get into discrepancies. Uh, pen and paper, because, uh, you know, you're ready. Uh, you're ready to uh, to go for the uh, uh, the judge call. Um, you're definitely, you are definitely 
the kind of guy who sits down. I, I'm serious. If you sh if you show up with a pen and paper to locals, you're that guy who like calls a judge because the deck's in the wrong zone. Uh, you call a judge if you know your opponent like does an illegal search instead of just being like, yeah, okay, it's fine. You forgot you ran out of targets. You're that kind of guy. You're that kind of guy. Okay. Uh, next, GCD. Third rate duel is still playing on the furniture and cloth when they could be using the latest in Kyber Cork duel technology. Shaking my head. All right, so you got a dual disc here. And uh, is that a... What card is this? It's a vanilla monster anyway, so it's not relevant. Um, nice try, GCD. Um, maybe if we had a face pick, we would probably believe it was you. But I don't, th don't think this is you. All right, Cowley, check this out. So, uh, what is this? Dragon Ball sleeves? A Dragon Ball on a furry pillow. And a shoe. And a shoe. You got a camera here to... I don't know, take pictures of your opponent underneath the table. We're trying to, it's like, what, what are we doing here? Like, what, a glass of water? Stay hydrated. Um, I don't know what deck this is in, in Dragon Ball, but, you know, I, I, I do quite like Future Trunks, so that's cool. But, yeah, nice little addition with the shoe. Is this, is this your deck, uh, deck box? Like you just put, like, a card in the, yeah, is this, is this a deck box? Uh, maybe, maybe that's your deck box, I don't know. All right, next up we've got Cosmic Dragon, my safe for work card set up at work. My, my safe for work card set up at work. My home setup will mind crush you if you see it. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the I don't shower shoes. This here is the I don't shower shoes. Okay. If you have these kind of shoes, you know, these, these style of sketchers, this is the I don't shower shoes. Um, we've got the, uh, the perfectly cut jeans there. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You got the feet, feet up on the table, you know, tips, fedora, my lady. Yep. Shuffle my deck, my lady. Uh, ultra pro deck boxes, of course, standard. I mean, you re you really can't get any more vanilla than this. There is really no, you can't get more vanilla than this. Uh, bad dragon 10th anniversary. <laughs> I just noticed this. I just noticed this. Uh, nice, uh, you know, so, some, uh, some, some, some casual viewing at work. Uh, lit. I don't know what this is over here, but uh, this looks American with these like plugs. I don't know how you guys have only two entry points in America. It's crazy. Uh, we have a three pronged attack here in the UK. I don't really know what's going on here with it. Like, well, where, where, where do you do? Like, where are you doing? Are you doing on top of the cards? I, I don't know. N nice try. Oh, lots of water up here. Got to stay hydrated. Very nice. Uh, it's Bradaz because Dark Magician is totally meta and I'm a scrub dual links YouTuber. Little plug there, by the way. Little plug. Get plugged. So we've got a Dual Links mat and a Dark Magician with some uh, at lime green extra. See, lime green is a color that's very, you know, it's very out there. It's very, look at me. Uh, look at this. Uh, this is, you know, this this here is where your happiness is. Okay, look down here. This is, this is the important shit. Okay, that's kind of what you're saying with the lime green sleeves. And honestly, you're not really saying much, you know, because you're just saying like, look here, look at that. Okay, this is the shit. Look down. Okay, lime green. That would work with something like double helix, um, Merkaba, you know, relevant extra deck monsters. You're kind of just like, yeah, look at this. Look at this odd eyes raging dragon. I'm never going to summon. Look at my dark knight of something. Yeah, that you, you, you don't impress anyone with that. Uh, blue sleeves, light green. This, this doesn't match. It doesn't work. Okay, chocolate magician girl in the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this your first turn board? Very strong, my friend. Very strong first turn board. Uh, the mat, of course. It's as it's it's just just just, just the normie. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen any spell grounds yet. Here's my dog shit weeb setup. Okay. So a standard vanilla ultra pro deck box. Uh, the dice kept in the actual dice container that you bought them in. So probably overpriced. I'm going to assume something like 5 or $10 or some shit for a bunch of like uh, things that you could have just put inside a nice little Ultra Pro deck box thing. Uh, we've got Odd Eyes. Uh, pure Odd Eyes? You're, an, you're a pure Odd Eyes player. Okay. Uh, we've got the Fast Dragon. Uh, Ma I, isn't this from the uh, Konami uh, Ordeal in 2015? or No, it's not Ordeal. It's... Um... <sighs> what is this from again? I can't remember. Anyway, Anime Ma, it's... Anime mat, okay. Uh, ache here, okay. Uh, what have we got here? Can we? Oh, that's retweet. Uh, I guess we can't rotate it. All right, let's see. So uh, you got it. You got a. You got the tray of dice here. That's pretty cool. You know, got to make sure that you're well prepared. That's fine. Um, they all seem to be matching sizes and stuff. At least you got different colors. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. 
Uh, nice uh, little layout here. You got your ca you got your uh, your cow cleaner. That's really cool. Uh, I do quite like the yellow extra deck sleeves. Uh, yellow is a nice color. Um, uh, the uh, I guess that's your side deck. Uh, first turn board anti spell with altergeist. Yeah, very 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 nice. Honestly, this is pretty good. This is this is pretty much the the the, the standard vanilla of above average. What is this up here? What is is this like the base of your monitor? Because I'm really curious. Not bad. Um, not bad. Anyway. Right, where are we up to? So we've got Simile and Neon. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, son. You're 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 talking business. You're playing you're playing spiral. You're playing spiral on a f on a on a fluffle mat. You are playing spiral on a fluffle mat. A custom made fluffle mat, by the way. A custom made fluffle mat. Like, this is, uh, you're, yeah, the furry agenda is alive and well. Oh, you've got a, you've got a signed, uh, Max C by, uh, by me. Huh. Did you look at that? Interesting. Now, I don't know if you actually show all your badges to your opponent. Like, I can't, like, I can't tell if these are actually on your mat, like, like, threaded in, or if you just, you know, uh, just laid them there for the camera, but if this is actually how you do- Where's your deck box? Where's this- Where's your extra deck? Where's your extra deck and deck box? Like, you carrying this shit in your pocket? You carrying this shit in your pocket? You've- you've- uh, you've opened resort, by the way, that's not good, you don't want to open resort. How have you- how have you ended with this field, with, like, no graveyard? How have you just summoned the sleeper? Where's your banish- Yeah, this is- this is terrible card placement, I don't know what you're doing. T double twin, uh, Raigeki, you know, the standard, of course. Uh, that's how you summon Sleeper Agent turn one, is uh, Twin Regeki. Domain Spirals, yes, he's playing Domain Spirals. <laughs> Matthew, this is my setup. Matt is designed by Dan Green, Yugi's voice. Oh, shit. Eric Stewart and the voice actress actors for Ruby. Vice, Blake, and yeah. I don't know who those are, but seems pretty cool. All right, so we are a mega, mega weeb that we've got signed merchandise from the voice actor weebs. Oh, shit. We're talking business here. So uh, that's pretty cool, honestly. In all, in all, in all seriousness, I got, I got to appreciate that's, that's some good, that's some grinding you've done. Uh, you know, getting uh, uh, Seto and uh, Yugi to both to all sign your deck. Are you in America or something? Because I don't know how like you could get a hold of them over here. Uh, the red sleeves, I guess, match that. The red deck box as well. You're definitely going for the color coordination here. Not bad, not bad. Your mat is getting a little bit frayed, but I assume you've probably had that for a while, just because you know you have them signed from like all these different pl people. Kala. Vice, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, ba Baba, Babao, Dunkers. Duncan signed your map. Yo. They were at YCS London? Oh, were they? Shit. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, Lindsay, Kiss. I don't know who Lindsay is. Pro is that an ex-girlfriend? You know, never get someone you love. Never get a significant other to touch your prop or sign your shit, okay? Because, like, it, it's never gonna last, okay? Um, extra deck sleeves. Yeah, major weeb shit. We're a Shino Bird player. This is the kind of... I wonder how much this shit's worth. I wonder if it being signed is relevant. Uh, but yeah, I mean, kudos on the color coordination. This isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. Um, it would have been nice to see where you, where your zone placement stuff is. Because, like, you know, we don't have any way... Is, it, is, it, is this a little girl on your mat? Is this a little girl on your mat? Why do you guys put little girls on your mat? Alright, Stompy. Oh shit, son! Look at this guy's deck boxes. Fuck! It's like which one? Which one you want to get your ass handed to you with you today, huh? Which one? Pick one. What do you want me to fuck you up with today? This is what he, this guy this guy does, right? He gets these deck boxes and he shuffles them around, and he's like, pick pick a deck box, pick a deck box, pick any deck box. Which one you want me to fuck you up with? I like it. I like it. This mat is from the Netherlands. Uh, and I guess that's some team there. You've got the zone placement on it, so that's cool. I don't know what monster this is. It looks like an actual artistic interpretation of Raging Dragon? I don't know. Uh, you've got a calculator that was probably designed for like five-year-olds starting. Oh, well, not really. That's not colorful enough for that. This is the uh, middle-aged office worker who is working in the 90s. This is what this calculator says to me. It's, uh, I'm single, I work in an office, and it's 1983. This is what this says to be, this calculator. Um, if anyone shows up with a life point thing of, you know, a book, like, you're really gonna keep life on a book? It's a magic mat. Oh, okay, shit. Uh, so you're playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! on a magic mat, so that would either say to me, you either have 300 IQ, 
or you don't shower. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. You know, when people who play magic, it's like you either have a really big brain and you've already like seen season five of Rick and Morty before it's even like in like the design stage. Um, or you don't shower. But what is the, what is this? This thing, you're going to keep, you're going to track life for, for what? Are you, are you tracking life for the entire column? Are you tracking life for the entire column? Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, 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 a table of, of 493. What's your life points? Okay, if you change, let me know. A uh, table of 473. Can you tell me your life points? Okay, thank you. Uh, 464. Can you guys tell me your life points? Thank you very much. That's Is that what we're trying to do here? I don't really know. Okay, uh, good, good try. Uh, so we got one from Eric here. Here is my amazing setup. Uh, please rate. Thank you. How many zones do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. So this is a really, really like small map. Uh, it's like just a, what is this? Bullshit. <laughs> I got a bullshit counter. <laughs> it's a, it's a bullshit counter. Like <clears throat> I gotta, I gotta bring an app up on my phone for you guys. I'm gonna bring an app up while I uh, talk nonsense for a little bit. So this is pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not like the worst thing ever. Um, it's pretty minimalistic. I do quite like this. It's, it does have that really old, like, magic style thing to it. Um, I just realized the deck you're playing is two Twinsters Raigeki in, in, a, in a Luna Light deck. So, I mean, you know, you know, sometimes we want to OTK, sometimes we don't want to pop the back row. What is this ritual, like, gothic calendar, uh, candle you've got here? What are you trying to do? Like, what are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, you, you, you trying to like literally summon ritual monsters, like literally summon ritual monsters or, uh, or what? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so the, the bullshit button. So, uh, and, uh, if you guys don't know in our locals, uh, whenever Duncan is dueling, uh, we watch Duncan play and every time he makes a misplay, we go, <coughs> yep. See this app here. It's a buzzer app. Okay. Try this at your locals. Every time you see someone in your locals misplay, Get this buzzer app, stand behind them. Every time they misplay, try it out. I'm sorry if that burst your eardrum. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Um, Calvin here, check out my taped up cardboard dual table. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I, I'm, I'm in between two minds right now. It's like, you know, I'm so fucking broke that I have to play on a mat that I sellotaped up from scraps in the recycling bin, or my camera is so old and so shit that I probably haven't had a warm meal in about four years because of, like, how poor I am. If you're this poor, you shouldn't be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Put that money towards actual meaningful things. You probably need to stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? If you're poor... Um, that kind of sucks, but maybe we got to change our priorities, okay? See this cardboard? See see this fog blade here? That's like 15 pounds right now, okay? That's like three days worth of food or some shit, yeah? That's like, this fog blade you could literally eat for three days. Maybe that's what we need to do, okay? Because, um, the camera's really the big issue here. Is that a giant clock? Is that like a big fucking clock up here? I mean, is this how you're tracking time? You know you could literally just, like, turn around and, like, look... At, like when you're at the event, do you just bring this fucking clock? Like, hey, don't don't slow play, okay? I'm watching, I'm watching you. Anyway, um, let's see, uh, Joseph here. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, shit. It's like a real life, like, um, 3D swap frog. Well, damn, not bad. Not bad. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can legally shuffle this in your deck. I don't think you can legally shuffle this in your deck. Wait, are these actual frogs? No, they're not actual frogs. They can't be. Oh my god, he's got, you gave him the little graduation hat. That's amazing. You gave him the little graduation hat. This is pretty fucking dope. This is pretty sick. Um, now, I don't know if you keep these in a little deck box or something every time you do it. It would have been nice to see, you know, where's your deck box? Where are you, where are you keeping this? Where's your field center? Guys, I asked you to tweet me where you, like, how you do. Like, show me your setup. Like, 
come on, like, as cool as this is, like, what do you do? Do you just show up and just put three frogs on the table and just... Uh, so, um, are you, are, are you gonna make a play? No, I just... I, I just show up to events and, like, put these frogs on the table. But yeah, it would have been nice to see what actually goes on in here other than just putting these uh, a really well done and amazingly made um, swap frog, uh, sorry, just frogs in general, ornaments. I uh, don't really know what's going on in the mat here. Just like, what is this? Is this, it looks like kind of like a falling cat. I can't, like, is, is that a frog? It's got like frog-like feet, but I don't really know what's going on with the mat. Um, uh, guarantee he does molly. Yeah, he's uh, probably on some kind of, some kind of trippy shit. Ryan here, rate my setup. Can you guys stop taking these pictures on literal potatoes? Literal potatoes. You literally went into the market, grabbed a potato, got a knife, and just like, like just peeled some skin off and just was like, chick, chick. yeah. But what do you expect from Zephyr players, honestly? Um, so this is the first guy I've got a spell. <laughs> this is the first spell ground we've seen. This is the first spell ground we've seen. Uh, it's good that you've actually, uh, you know, we got we got some guy investing, you know, but then I have to question, like, you know, where is your priority on your money? Like, you can afford a spell ground, but you're playing Zephra, and your camera is from a grocery store. Like, what are you trying to do here? Anyway, um, your, uh, your life point book thing is way too big. Odyssey, it's way too big. I like the matching dice. Uh, you got the black deck box, which is uh, the second best. Uh, wait, is that black? Do, do they even have black regional deck box? I've never seen that as price support. Is this really old or something? Because I haven't seen a black uh, regional deck box. Um, well, I haven't seen any regional deck box because I don't fucking top regionals, but that's not the point. Um, I don't know why you put your Cossy ID here. Is this your field center? Like, what are you trying to show? Like, what are you trying to do? I'm like I'm more suspicious now that you've actually went and put your Cossy ID here. Like, what are you trying to? Are you trying to say I am a legit duelist? By the way, I I'm not banned. I promise. I promise I'm not banned. Like, why do you need to show me your Cossy ID? I wouldn't. I didn't ask for your Cossy ID. Like, I, I, <laughs> is this like? It's like, that's really suspicious. Like, I, I I'm legit. I'm legit. I promise. You know. <laughs> like, okay, sure. Um, fair enough. Um, but yeah. Uh, you, you need like a better way to track life points, but other than that, it's a pretty cool setup. I do like it. Uh, what have we got next? We've got Randy. So let's see Randy's de uh, setup here. Okay, so we've got the Kylo Ren mat. Uh, pretty vanilla, honestly, pretty vanilla. Uh, white extra deck sleeves and blue main deck sleeves. See, you got that the other way around, but why is there a Chaos Emperor and a green sleeve? Is this supposed to be your field center? I don't think that's even legal. Okay, mind over matter here. Let's, uh, let's see what you got for me. You've got a regional deck box. That looks like it's in pristine uh, condition as well. I do like that. See, remember what I said earlier? Remember what I said earlier about the lime green sleeves? The lime green sleeves are very out there. They are very much just like, look at me. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Right? And that makes sense in, magi in Pendulum Magician. That makes perfect sense in Pendulum Magician. Like, you're playing, you're going second against Dorito Vortex. You, you know, you, 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 you're you going to have to fucking pay attention to these things, okay? You're going to have to pay attention right there. Uh, so that makes sense. Uh, I don't know how we ended up with triple astrograph in our hand. And, like, shouldn't these be on the field? What, how, how did we how did we end up with triple astrograph on the hand with Vortex? Did you just make this field up? Because this, like... If you guys are going to tweet me in with your uh, your setups, at least, like, come up with, like, a, a, like a, a board that makes sense. I mean, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on here? What's going on here? Like, I just got, I threw an astrograph in my hand. Uh, Naruto, Metaltron, Vortex, pass. Okay, how did you just summon three extra deck monsters, turn one? Uh, green extra deck sleeves. Okay. Uh, the, the, the original deck box is really nice. Uh, the mat looks like it's uh, pretty nice as well because it's not, like, Konami made. It seems like it's... Um, uh, fan made, but I don't really know. Like, is this supposed to be a blue eyes? I mean, it's he's very gaunt and skinny for a blue eyes. I don't really know what this is. It's like a magic mat or something. I don't know. Pokemon Field Center. Uh, that's that's a misplay. Definitely, uh, Pokemon Field Center is is bad. Naruto Vortex is what you almost make. Yeah, I know, but like, where's the setup? Where's the setup? Like, why is the astrograph in the hand? It shouldn't be there. It's tidal. It's cockatus. Cockatus tidal. Okay, it looks like tidal. Um. Yeah, I don't know about, like, the artist who made this. It looks, uh, he looks like he's, it looks like Tidal, the dragon ruler, who hasn't been fed for about a year. 
That's what it looks like. It looks like I, I'm tidal and I haven't eaten food in like a year. That's what I see right now. All right, moving on to Denny's pineapple. This is literally all I own. So you don't own a mat is the first thing that came to my mind. You don't own a mat. Um, what are these sleeves? Are these magic size sleeves? Or do you have your like cards like framed? Are you using magic size sleeves? Why are these so big? Or are you like double sleeve them maybe? Are these double sleeved? Because if they're magic size, can I just say that's that's like my biggest pet peeve, okay? My biggest pet peeve is uh, people who just have like the wrong sleeve. Those are standard size sleeves. So, yeah, I know they're standard, but you know, maybe they're double sleeved. So like it kind of works. Um, but yeah, so you, you know, you've got Konami product in the background, so that's a misplay, you know, uh, unironically buying Konami product in 2018, by the way, Omega lol. Can I get Omega lol in the chat? Buying Konami product, Omega lol. Product Omega lol, with the O as Omega lol, please, thank you. Um, so yeah, framed fluffle. Uh, to be fair, yeah, at least you're using sleeves. I'm surprised no one has tweeted in a setup where they just don't have any fucking sleeves. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh deck box here, I mean, it's pretty vanilla, but I just... Where's your mat? Where's your mat? Where's your mat? <laughs> um, all right, let's see what we got here. Uh, what is, who's this standby? Scatter... What does this say? Oops, zoomed out too much. Scatter Paler. Does anyone... Can anyone read that? scatter pre what what is this i don't know okay um so we're using the uh the konami issued uh life point tracker i don't know man using using konami using using konami anything is i think he signed it himself <laughs> signing your own cards by the way <laughs> who are you tagantic does anyone know who this guy is? Does anyone know who Tagantic is? 26 followers. Should you really be signing your own merch here? German Yugi Tuber. German Yugi Tuber. 26. Okay. 26 followers. Should you really be signing cards, my friend? Should you really be signing cards? I don't know. Um. Yeah, Zephyr player with a Zephyr mat. I don't know. I I, feel, I just think that that's like really like I I could never like a deck so much where I'm going to coordinate the 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 cards I play and the sleeves like because the sleeves colors the colors you're using here are definitely like Zephyr colors. You know the cyan blue and the green. Those are very sort of Zephyr. Um, so it's like you've definitely gone above and beyond to try and coordinate your deck. But then you're using a red deck box. You know that really doesn't work if you're gonna go for the Zephyr theme. You know that this deck box should probably be white or something, uh, maybe green, uh, maybe blue to match like the background of the map. But yeah, you've really gone all in trying to color coordinate there. The uh, the 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 life point tracker thing, you need you need to use something else. We we don't use Konami product, okay? Uh, the dice is uh is uh, the pre reg one I think. You got the water one. I mean that kind of goes with the deck. You know, it's, water i mean it's not water deck but the colors like kind of fits at least the field center um of course we're going for the uh you know the pedo agenda field center how do you guys get these field centers? do you make them yourself or like because i mean it's Yu-Gi-Oh art but it's like you know it says field center is, is this like konami issued or is it fan made i don't think it's konami issued not bad it looks it's pretty pretty this is okay so this isn't a terrible setup um i don't know how you're yes, writing yes, here where's yes, your uh arrow. where's your pen uh jordan jordan's actually got uh, a Twitter account. I didn't even know you had Twitter, Jordan. How did you just make this? Oh, you have nine followers. You have a. Oh my God, Emma's following you. How is Emma following you? Oh, is it because like you're a patron or something? Is that why? Um. Okay, so this is Jordan's here now. Jordan, if you guys don't know, Jordan is the tryhard of tryhards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Right? He is really, he is really up there with uh, with the tryhard in Yu-Gi-Oh. You see. Look, we've got we've got the KMC sleeves. We've got the KMC sleeves. We've got the FTK on the field. You know, he's trying to show people what is it. You know, jo you know what Jordan's major is. You know what Jordan's major is. He does neuroscience. Okay, I promise you, this calculator, he doesn't need these level of advanced calculations. All right, see this calculator. He doesn't need this calculator. This is just Jordan trying to trying try to like. He, th this was this was the this was the setup meta like three years ago. Okay, back in the day. 
uh, he's not really showing the edge there uh, because it's like cut off. But see that calculator case when you open it? Uh, that calculator case when you open it, there's like pockets and he puts like these like f these like uh, like fancy tokens that are really rare from the OCG. Like he has like OCG exclusive really rare tokens or something and he puts them in these like little pocket things. He hasn't shown it there, but that that is that's try hard as fuck, okay? Um, the, these, uh, these, uh, these dice, I think they're ARG dice, you know, he's got the spell ground, he's got the FTK, he's got the white uh, KMC sleeves, so, you know, you're, this, this is about as try hard as you can be, but let's be real, guys, if this kind of setup was facing you at a, re uh, at a YCS, you'd be pretty fucking scared, okay, you'd be thinking, to yourself, alright, this guy knows what he's doing, right, legit, this guy does know what he's doing, bit of a fucking try hard, uh, you know, with ARG dice in EU, like ARG in EU, Omega lol, like ARG in EU, hello, like what are they going transatlantic now? Um, I'm only jo uh, uh, kidding, uh, shout outs to Jim, but yeah, he's got the regional deck box, the hot pink regional deck box, pristine condition, showing that it's brand new, he's won it recently, as try hard as this, I'd be pretty scared, I'd be pretty scared, Stompy Char put the link to set up in the chat, okay, can you PM it to me Stompy Char, uh, message it to me on Twitch, because I can't, uh, oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll check it out in a sec. Um, fuck. Okay. I'll bring that up in a, a second. Let's just finish up with this one. Uh, as you can see as well, Jorn is very try hard at everything. All right. Not just Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. You see that Razer keyboard here? Razer? Razer in 2018, by the way. Omega lol. Razer. Razer, by the way. Razer have made like one good mouse in their entire history. All right. The rest of their shit is just overpriced garbage. Um, so uh, you can get alternatives from Corsair, from Logitech. I ain't even sponsored, by the way. I'm just saying. So this man, this is the tryhard of tryhards. But all in all, you'd be pretty fucking scared about dueling this guy, okay? You'd be really scared to duel against that. OCG Bandai, Bandai cards. Bandai cards. Can you imagine this guy showing up with Bandai cards? Yeah, this guy's a tryhard, but, you know, I gotta, I gotta be on my top game here to beat him, yeah? I, I gotta play my very best to beat this guy. That's what I'd be thinking if I played against this person at a YCS. All right, uh, Stompy Char. All right, so we're selling out. This is the sellout entry, guys, okay? Uh, Farfa's the sellout. So since you had some issues with my normal setup, my apologies. Um, here is a more stream-friendly setup. Okay. All right, what have we got here? So we've got, a, it, it looks like a blank white mat with uh, some self-made art on it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of shall we say, animals that have a particular amount of hair on their body. Why is there toilet paper? What? Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> this is incredible. This is incredible, by the way. This is this has to be, hands down, the greatest setup I have ever seen for, cal for uh, tracking life. The I'm going to steal this idea. I'm going to do this from now on. I'm going to bring a roll of toilet paper to track life at YCS's from now on. If you guys see me at the UK Nationals 2018, by the way, this is going to be, this is what I'm tracking life with. This is how I'm tracking life with. I'm bringing a roll of toilet paper. Absolutely genius. Um, as for the card, uh, the mat art here, what, what are, they, are these supposed to be crystal beasts? Like, you got like parallel rare crystal beasts. What is this up here? I don't, I'm, I'm scared to ask. Is this your fursona? Like, is this your fursuit? I'm really scared to ask. I'm re are you are you actually a legitimate non-ironic furry? Are you actually a legitimate non-ironic furry? Furaffinity.net. I'm going to I'm going to like turn off the stream thing real quick so I can, I'm going to check this link just in case there's anything inappropriate on it. Dutch furries, man, what can I say? It's a it's a cool color at least. I li I like the I like the bright orange. All right, Malte here. Uh, Sleepy Tapir likes Raigeki, man. Oh, yeah, this is a CCG map. And CCG R always never, never fails to impress. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, this map's really awesome. I hope you've at least managed to win this yourself. Actually, I think this is the pay-to-win map. I think CCG, by the way, pay-to-win mats. Don't know about that, man. Pay-to-win map. You didn't win this. You didn't win this. You bought this. I know you bought this. Um, so, we've got the red sleeves here. Not really working, honestly, if you ask me. Uh, the hot pink deck box, again, uh, it's definitely one of the better deck boxes. However, it's not matching with anything here. You know, you got to color coordinate. 
uh, Jordan's didn't match either, you know, but he's a tryhard, right? So he's just going for the most, like, prestigious things as possible, you know, Spout Grand, Calc Case and stuff. There's not really much prestige here. Yes, you've got the deck box, but what's really going on here? You know, you've got the pay-to-win mat, and you've got some some standard looking red sleeves. Uh, this life point calculator, like, well, tracker thing, like, weird notepads? I don't... It's, uh, it's a little bit big for me, but, uh, like, do you, like, do you work in, like, a, like, a, a, some kind of, like, rundown library? Is this what we're doing with this? I, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Alex here. Uh, he's got, okay. This mat, though. This mat, though, by the way. This mat, though. So, uh, remember what we said about tryhards, right? Now, you don't have anything to track your life point with here, so I'm a little bit curious as to what's going on there. Nothing to track your life points there. Uh, but these kind of mats, you know, these this shit is expensive, okay? This beautiful as well. looks nice. It's really good. The white sleeves, the white sleeves, that's a sign, that's a sign of a player who's trying. Always, always. Um, the... Always a white sleeve. If you have white sleeves, you gotta be on your guard. You gotta play carefully. You gotta make sure that you're doing everything perfectly. But then they go and special summon a far fun. You know they're a complete fucking idiot. Uh, because why are you playing Burning Abyss? So it kind of balances itself out. The pink dice, not really working with me. Honestly, it doesn't really match. I mean, you've got like the uh, the world champ. So you've kind of like when you you have your mat as your base. Okay, your mat is your base, and then from therefore uh, there uh, henceforth you kind of you know, develop your color scheme after that. So you've went with the white sleeves for your color scheme. That's fair enough. But then you've went with this like bright pink dice. It's not really like this. Th that doesn't match. Okay. And then you've got like the cyan blue and the green and the lime green flare and some red on the sleeve. And it's like, uh, it kind of matches the mat, honestly, because the mat is like beige and it just has this like very sort of plain background. But then you've got like the mat that just completely contradicts the the, the dice is, is the real eyesore here okay the deck box seems to go quite well with the sleeves it's the same sort of dark blue shade uh pretty nice honestly i do like this deck box by the way it's, it's pretty cool i like this like little side side deck um compartment here that's pretty cool not bad not bad um looks all right um but yeah not a bad setup honestly get fix these dice man this is really just pain, like painful to look at uh next we've got manit still sleeving and deciding on build but yeah Okay, so is this a two-player fan-made weeb mat? Two-player fan-made weeb mat. If my opponent rolled this out, I would just be like, no thank you. No thank you. I'm, I'm okay. No thank you. Not interested. I'll use my mat. Because that's really what I'm seeing here. That's, uh, that's really what I'm seeing here. Uh, the, uh, the dex gear is really nice. The dex gear is really nice. It, I don't know if you guys have actually physically touched these deck boxes in real life, uh, but they they feel phenomenal. They feel phenomenal. Th see the mat thing? I don't understand. Like, see if it's Konami made and it has the right zones, it makes sense. But what's going on here? Like, what what's going on here? Like, what? I ain't gonna share that shit. It's just bizarre. It doesn't make any sense. I like this profile picture you've got, by the way. It's uh, a <laughs> profile picture here. Uh, okay, so we've got the Blue Eyes Field Center. And the uh, the Kaiba, is that Yu-Gi-Oh! Day tokens, I think they're from? Yu-Gi-Oh! Day tokens? Gem playmat Spellground with the, well, it's like a, is it a cloth mat? It's not Spellground, but like, I, I have a habit of calling anything cloth, cloth related Spellgrounds. Um, but I think these are Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. The extra deck sleeves, they work pretty well with this. The tokens are in a different colored sleeve. Now, I think that's fine. I mean, legal, like, legally at an event, I would always just follow Konami policy because sometimes they can really be bitches about it and they can just be like, oh, excuse me, well, actually, you need all your extra deck cards to be in the same color sleeve, well, actually. And you're just like, you're going to give me a fucking warning because of that? Are you fucking serious? Go fuck yourself. Um, but yeah, just follow the same sleeves. I actually think the yellow looks nicer than this blue. Um, so I, I'm just like, yellow is one of my favorite colors. So like it's, I'm a little bit biased towards it. Um, but yes, this, uh, is this a DDS blue eyes? Oh shit, son. DDS blue eyes. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, this light flowing calculator is really weird, but if it works, it works. I mean, it's really small and compact, not taking up too much space. You got the deck box from ultimate guard here. That kind of, that look, that, that works because the color scheme fits this background of the mat here. Um, but yeah, I would just change the, uh, the, the main deck sleeves. Are these silver main deck sleeves is this what you've got silver main deck sleeves i don't know about that i don't know about. i don't think that's i don't think that's right hmm 
So you got multicolored extra deck slaves, potato camera, red sleeves, not really fitting the mat. You should really be going for like pink or uh, uh, purple sleeves. The you got a you got a little girl on your mat. Little girl on mat. Like, come on. Uh, dueling book setup. GYGO five hundred. <laughs> All right. So um, you're, you're Farfa themed sleeves. Farfa themed sleeves, by the way. Farfa themed sleeves. I love it. I love it. You're playing the you're playing the best goat deck, by the way. The best goat deck. This this shit's the you know the combo set. This is the best deck in goats. All right. Um, but yeah, I like the uh, Amano googly eyes. Amano googly eyes, by the way. This is this is beautiful. The Amano googly eyes. Uh, if you want me to send you a better quality picture of the Farfa logo, just let me know, bro. I'll I'll let you know. Because uh, uh, th this looks like very like uh, pixelated. Uh, but good try. Uh, uh, th th thanks, thanks for the support. This Minerva cloth mat. This Minerva cloth mat is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. God damn, this is beautiful. This is literally like, I could, I, I could literally like just make love on this mat. It is absolutely incredible. <sighs> beautiful. What is it? Imperium Duelist? Is this like custom made or something? I don't know. This thing is, is this like a five grand mat? I have no idea, man, but it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you've got the KMC Hyper Mini uh, uh, white sleeves. This is really nice. The dice here are really nice as well. Uh, they do match the mat. The yellow sleeves don't match. That's the problem. That's what I'm seeing here. I personally love yellow sleeves. Uh, I think yellow's like yellow's one of like basically my favorite color. It doesn't match the setup, okay? It really doesn't match the setup. You've got like this dark navy blue, um, light swarms, uh, with the with the white um trim on the mat. Uh, the yellow isn't working for me. You need to change your extra deck sleeves. Uh, your deck box doesn't really your deck. None of these deck boxes match either, really. Um, but yo, this mat, this mat though. Uh, okay, so Shingeki no Tavib has tried again. I think this was the deleted uh, tweet from earlier, but yes, let's have a look here. So what is this here? Spike Mer Spike S Spielmarke. Is this uh, some German uh, Ojama pajama? Is that what, that's, what that is? I can't, I can't really tell. Um, so we got Dragon Shield sleeves, I think, or those are KMC Burgundy mat, uh, mat sleeves. Because uh, the only KMC ones that are worth it are... Uh, or white. <laughs> um, the deck box, the colors, none of this mesh as well. None of these colors mesh well. You've got the red with this sort of like grayscale blue mat, and then you've got like almost a green deck box. Um, eh, the, the, the extra deck sleeves are, you know, they're nice. They're, they're Konami issued. Um, so, you know, Omega lol. But they're, uh, they're not, they're, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty nice setup other than, the biggest thing that's that's giving me the eye sword here is the is the is the main deck sleeves. Okay, you need KMC white sleeves with this setup, I think, and it'll look it'll it'll look nice. Uh, you got pretty nice dice here. Um, I would always use two dice if you're using only one dice. I, I always roll roll two dice, guys. Roll two dice. It just means that you're gonna. It, it's more rare that you get uh, draws with double dice than it is with single dice. So just go for that. Uh, the life point thing. I mean, it's it's Konami issued Omega Lol Konami product, but it's like. It's one single sheet of paper. What are, you, what are you tracking? It's one single sheet of paper. What are you doing? I don't know. It's pretty good. Anyway, other than the, the main deck sleeves. All right. We're going for the uh, the sellout tweet here from King of Bar. Um, ooh. These gem mats, man. These gem mats, by the way. They are... They are on a whole other level. They are on a whole other level of gorgeous. This is really nice. Um, mm, I'm trying to decide whether or not your sleeves fit your mat. I'm trying really hard to decide whether your sleeves fit your mat or not. Because you've got the book here. The light. The, I think this is your life point tracker. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, it perfectly matches the sleeve color. You know, you've got Swap Frog, Corian, Gandrax, Sulfefner. Those, there's a lot of monsters in the Christian archetype. Just look beautiful with this, with these sleeves. But it's this navy blue trim that just doesn't match here. 
and you know if you've got the navy blue debt box you need to you need to color coordinate here i don't know going for three colors only works but you haven't gone for three you're going for gray blue yellow but then there's also some white here so you've got four colors it's too much there's too many colors in your palette okay there's really what's there's too many colors in the pack but this is nice this is a beautiful map what brand are these sleeves they look so metallic and just like really uh not like shiny because like shiny sleeves tend to look tacky sometimes but these are just like i don't know they're just they just look perfect they just look really nice uh not bad man not bad not bad um all right uh, i love to forget my password uh has uh, sent me in a very yeah this is a uh, it's, it's it's pretty vanilla is this you know you're just an average dulisk if you ask me you're probably slightly above average because you've uh, you've got the uh the regional uh, debt box here, so I'm probably like, okay, this guy's pretty competent, he knows how to play somewhat, um, I should probably not, you know, assume he's he's playing complete trash, uh, but then he summons a Candina, and I'm just like, huh, pedo agenda, <laughs> pedo agenda, it's pretty cool, I like it, um, the blue does fit the background of the map, but, you know, what do we think about Konami issued product and Konami issued mats, what do we think about that? Omega lol. But to be fair, it's one of the nicer Konami mats. So there is that. Um, let's see. We've got Kasim here. This is my favorite setup with my beloved Winter Cherry. Um, it's a nice mat. It's a nice mat. Konami though. Omega lol. Konami though. You need different sleeves. You need purple sleeves. You've clearly, like, if Winter Cherry is your favorite monster, that's fine. You like little girls, that's fine. If you like little girls, at least follow the color scheme of your little girls properly. I mean, it's uh, this red here is just a bit of an eyesore, honestly. I think it's probably probably look even worse if it's face up. Your extra deck sleeves, it's hard to tell. What deck is this? What deck is this? It's just Troymares and 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 scapegoat and a little. What deck is this? It's I I don't know. Uh, you have a lot of shit here. Okay, the, you're just flexing, all right, at this point. You're really just flexing at this point, because I don't really... What, what What do you need to break? You don't need a binder. You need to show me your fucking binder. All right, you've got, like, you've got the double deck box, which is honestly way too big to bring to an event. I would definitely get something a little bit smaller if you're just going to be, you know, doing a duel at an event. Uh, Dragon Shield sleeves, misplay. Misplay. Uh, you've got the mat holder deck box thing you got the ultimate guard matt deck you get you just love ultimate guard don't you you just love ultimate guard but then you went and betrayed them with the dragon shield um i don't know the mat's really nice though it is definitely a really nice map all right max is uh got us you got two mats and three binders what are you doing wait are you are you what are, are you doing or are you like vending like, do you sit down at round, like, two, and you just, like, whip out these three binders, and you're just like, summon, summon, summon. Now tell me your card values. Is that what you're trying to do? Because what is going on here? What is going on here? Why do you have two mats? This isn't a setup. This isn't a setup. This is stock. This is stock. I asked you guys to tweet me your dueling setup. This isn't a dueling setup. This is stock. This is product. Okay? You're... This man's vending. He's vendooling. He's vendooling. The binders are his field centers. He said binders are tokens. What the fuck are you doing? What is this shit? Oh, I don't know. All right. Uh, Ross here has got... Um, what is this map? What, what is this map? Anyway, you've got Triver and Anti-Spell. So, uh, Triver and Anti-Spell. <laughs> uh, Kamen Rider, I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, maybe I'm too old or some shit. All right, anyway, you're playing, you're, you're playing Satellanite, so that in and of itself is probably enough for me to just, like, d like discredit this and say, nah, sorry, this ain't, this ain't gonna work. But you're using the white sleeves there, that's good. Uh, the, the extra deck sleeves, they match your mat, I guess, you know. Uh, you've got matching dice in your tray. 
Uh, pretty generic average dice, but it works. It works. Uh, you've got the deck box here. That's uh, Ultimate Guard with the tray and stuff. Like, that's definitely one of my favorite deck boxes. So, yeah, not bad. Honestly, not bad. Uh, just interesting choice for uh, showing uh, your, your deck. Anti-spell pass. All right. Next one, uh, Dukul here. Uh, you already tweeted me this. Huh. Okay. Did you just, like, tweet it again? Like, because I'm going in reverse order. That's say I ain't going to work. All right. Furry profile pick. Uh, Jugs here. Profile pick line art drawn by Kami Mao, colored by myself. We've, we've got a furry artist here, guys. So we've got a furry artist here that's extra linked. Um, I uh, I tried to do an extra link earlier. I don't know if you guys were around earlier. We saw You saw me trying to do an extra link. Uh, I opened plant combo plus soul charge. I ended with griffin firewall pass. Uh, it wasn't very good. Anyway, uh, you've done a little bit better here. This is probably the nicest Konami mat ever made. Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. The Yang Zing New Year mat is fucking gorgeous. It is so beautiful. The only thing nicer than this is like the uh, the Spellground um, Chinese New Year mat is it. That thing is it, what's it's got like the uh, the I think it's a goat or an ox on it, and it's like just this gold trim with bright red. It's it's so beautiful. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So this mat's really nice. Your sleeves kind of match, but you should just be using red sleeves. Simple. So you, you use the red sleeves. I don't know. Like, what is this? It's it's kind of orange, but it's like a brownie vomit orange. It's it's. Mm -hmm. um, I like the deck box, but the color isn't working. The, your your color your, your deck box just is the wrong color. Okay. Um, is this person left-handed? Everything's the wrong side. Oh yeah, shit. This look. I I I, I didn't realize. Like this looks completely normal to me, because uh, I'm left-handed. I do like this as well. Uh, so yeah, that's actually interesting. Huh. I never, I never thought how weird this might look to some people. But yeah, I guess this probably looks really weird to most of you. I do like this. This is how I do. I'm left-handed. Um, but yeah, the deck box just isn't... Like, the colors like... And you need more dice in here. You need you need some more dice in here to fill up your tray. Make it look nice and ni nice and clumped together. Um, so yeah, not not too bad. Uh, Mito. Uh, we've got... This man's got... What is this? Are you learning Japanese while dueling? Or is it? It's not Japanese. I don't know what this is. What is this? You're playing magicians on. Uh... I, I I don't know what this is. Like what is? I'm, I I I feel like this is re referencing something, but I don't know. Anyway, you've got your Kossi cards here. Yep, just to make sure that you're a legit duelist. You make sure that you're not banned. Uh, I trust you. Don't worry. Uh, check this out. I get that. Uh, that is indeed Japanese. Is it? Okay. I guess your handwriting is terrible. Um, so yeah, you're uh, you've got a you've got a little little girl keychain, I think, and you're learning Japanese while dueling. Uh, I thought this was like music notes, but it's it it's not. Okay, interesting, interesting. I don't know how you're keeping these three sheets of paper together for twelve rounds in a row without it like you know falling apart. But that's an interesting choice for a setup. Um, okay, yeah, Stompy Char, that was your sellout one that I already looked at. Uh, Jack here, Beatrice stuck in bank holiday mail. Bank holiday mail. <laughs> So you've uh, you've decided to put together Burning Abyss. Got a sneak peek mat. Okay, guys, if you're going to use Konami product mats, please don't use sneak peek mats. It is so normy. It is so average. It is so painfully average to use a Konami sneak peek mat. <laughs> there isn't even any nice sneak peek mats, okay? There's a couple of really nice Konami mats. Like, most of the judge, judge ones are amazing. Some of the Nationals ones are, like, really nice. But, like, Sneak Peek Matt? Like, <laughs> Omega LOL Sneak Peek Matt? Uh, gold Rare Dantes, by the way. Gold, I think one of them's not Gold Rare. Oh, my God, man. Mismatching Dantes. How? You've got, like, a Duelist Alliance first Dante and then two Golds. Where are your priorities? Where are your priorities? What is going on? You got like, uh, it's like, it's like most of a gold extract and then like two gold Dantes and then like a Duelist Alliance first Dante. What? I don't know. Okay. Change the mat, dude. I like the deck box, but none of, nothing here fits. Nothing here um, co color coordinates well. The mat goes well with the extra deck sleeves. That's about it. That's literally about the only thing that's like, you know, looking okay there. Uh, Joseph's giving me the expanded setup here. Okay, so this is the frog dude from earlier. All right, so you've got the regional top box, and you've got the uh, the, the time there. 
it's time. He's got the time there, guys. It's, if anyone needs the time, it's uh, it's time to duel. Yeah, that's the time there. The extra deck sleeves look really nice with your map, by the way. Can I? I just want to point out the extra deck sleeves look phenomenal with your uh, with your map. Oh, now it makes sense. I can I can see it now. It's Treeborn Frog, right? It was upside down. That's why I couldn't fucking tell what the hell it was. It's an it's a galaxy, spacey Treeborn Frog. That's pretty cool. Uh, the deck box doesn't match. the The sleeves don't match at all. If you're gonna go for this nighttime galaxy theme, you gotta go. You gotta get some like uh, dark blue sleeves. Um, maybe not white, uh, black, but white. White could work. But pink is just not gonna work because you've got like you've got like baby pink, and then you've got hot pink, and then you've just got a whole different color palette. Yeah, yeah. your colors are fucked there. Uh, King of Bar, was this like a new hand or something you sent me? Okay. How many times are you gonna you gonna tweet me? I've I've seen it. It's, it's a cool map, bro. Uh, Alan here, the Gen FTK lol. Uh, okay. So is this Force of Will? Is this Force of Will? Because I think Force of Will is basically just hentai like heaven. Like, Haven? Is it? Hentai Haven? Is the, like, porn site that you guys love? Hentai Haven. I think that's basically all Force of Will is. It's for people who just really like hentai. Um, so, we're playing Gem Knight FTK. Yep. The dice here just really don't match your mat. The black does go well with the mat. I think black and pink is a nice combination. But orange and pink, it doesn't make sense if they're from the same family of colors. The white deck box looks really nice with this. You need to get a different deck box because, like, the double deck box is kind of pointless lime green sleeves with this don't worry you need to get bright hot pink sleeves to match this mat because uh or just stick with white uh it looks like you've got black main deck sleeve mats uh main deck sleeves that that looks really nice with this mat black and hot pink i think is a really nice uh combination um but yeah change this orange dice to black and then you got a decent setup here what's this random coin get rid of it and change your extra deck sleeves get a smaller deck box but this is solid this is solid this is going places jamie I don't think, I don't like the pink up, but waiting one more KMC whites. Okay. Right. So, yeah, already I can see this map would look really sick with some KMC whites. Um, your field center here is Vanguard or Body Fight or whatever it's called, I think. What? I'm going to show you my guys. Guys, I'm going to show you my setup at the end, and then you're going to see a real, a real setup, okay? Because this is, um, uh, yeah, you guys are pick. It's like it's like half normie, half pro. You know, because you got the cloth mat, but then you've got like, but then but then you've got like pink sleeves, which I guess to be fair, you said you're changing to KMC whites. Okay, that's fair enough. Change those to KMC whites as we look a lot better. The yellow kind of works. So if you want to make this really look look nice, what I would do is main deck white sleeves and yellow extra deck sleeves to match your deck box. And you've got a good you've got a good color theme here, okay? Because black and yellow is uh, they, they they look uh, uh, pretty nice together. Your dice need you need different colored dice. You need different colored dice. Like green and red. Like where? How are you fitting green and red in here? How are you fitting green and red here? Uh, wh where's where's it going? So that ginger one has uh, sent in a um, yeah. It's just another average setup. It's just another average setup. You know, it's uh, there's like. Konami product mat. It's a con exclusive. I mean, maybe that's like, you know, prestigious. I I, I ain't really feeling it. Uh, you've got your your blue eyes player. Okay. Uh, the extra deck sleeve. So like Konami product matches Konami product. So at least you've got that going on. The sleeves are okay with this mat. But you know, there's a bit of like an orangey like, uh, red here, and like this is like more of like the opposite side, which is like the the cold colors and the warm colors. You know, you can't really mix them. Uh, for the most part, I think the yellow sleeves look really nice on this mat, so that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know who these are signed by, Eric. So okay, right, Seto Kaiba, I guess. Uh, so that's okay. The green deck box, though. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This is this is shit. This is there's no other color that could have been worse here. Like what is this? Like military military camouflage green with like yellow sleeves. What are you doing? What are you doing? This doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nice try though. All right, so we've got uh, Chienis here with the um, the spy thick mat, the spy thick mat. By the way, spy thick. Uh, we got another boy with the razor keyboard, <laughs> of course. Um, oh, this is a CCG mat, I think. Yeah. So, uh, uh, oh no, it's it's uh, it's master plan. I, I don't. Know, I just assumed it was Misty. Uh, I don't remember her in a red dress. 
Uh, but, you know, I'm not into my cartoons, but this looks pretty. This looks pretty. Um, you've got the bordered sleeves, which is quite nice. I think they're okay. Um, I'm not really a fan of bordered sleeves. I think they just look a little tacky. The only doubled sleeves, bordered sleeves that I like are the uh, like the dual terminal ones. You know, the ones with the shatter foil doubles that you can you can basically make any, all your extra cards shatter foil. Um, is that quick fix in the back? Yeah, quick fix looks about 10, 20 years younger than he actually is over here. <laughs> uh, and then we've got sleeper here, who's apparently an expert poker player. Uh, it's a nice mat. It's a nice mat. Uh, the extra deck. Eh. Uh, uh, sorry, the deck, the main, the deck box is like navy blue, and you've got lime green sleeves. Like, eh, doesn't really match. Eh. I don't know. the The mat's nice though. The mat's nice. Lloyd here, roast me. I'm gonna, honestly, I'm just gonna roast your camera. Dark side of dimensions play mat. Dark side of dimensions, by the way. Dark side of dimensions. Okay, Konami. Dark side of dimensions play mat. Konami, Structure Deck, uh, Structure Deck, Dark Law. Do you just like product? Do you just like product? I feel like you just really like product. Just everything here is Konami. It's just a, a two Structure Decks. Uh, you've got Konami product, Matt. Uh, what is this deck box? Is it Konami? Is it, okay, it's not Konami. It looks like um, just black, plain, which I guess looks nice with this mat. The sleeve colors, green with like... How is this working? It's not working. It's terrible. Um, and uh, Max here. Uh, so this is something from earlier, I believe. Did you fix your sleeve? Did you actually go and fix your uh, fix your setup? Okay, so we've got a Noble Knight Field Center and an Infernoid Main Deck. Noble Knight Field Center and an Infernoid Main Deck. Uh, hero setup with Plan B. David Kwan. Thank you. Um, this... Uh, you know, Konami mats generally tend to suck, but there's some prestigious shit here. There's some prestigious shit. This is a nice mat, okay? It's this dial thing, you know? It's this, like, circular thing that they've got going on that makes it so much cooler. That's just really nice. That's, that's, the mat itself is just really nice. But, unfortunately, you went and ruined it with, like, your color choices here. Like, what, how, how did you think green worked here? I want to know your reasoning and logic for how you thought green was going to work with this. Because it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know why you're using green, you know? You should be going for like, you know, just a black deck box. Um, the Ultra Pro deck boxes, they are really nice. Um, to like, Well, they're not nice to like look at, but they're nice as in, uh, what's the word? Compatible? Uh, like, and practical? They're nice in that sense. But they look garbage. They look like shit, okay? They look like little mini recycling bins. Uh, like in the UK, uh, just the generic waste bins here in the UK is like this exact shade of green, okay? And it's like the exact same shape. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it just is get a different deck box, okay? Just get a, a nice Ultimate Guard jet black deck box and it'll look perfect with this. It'll look gorgeous with this, honestly. And... Um, uh, for the extra deck sleeves, maybe I think some red would work, maybe, I think with this, perhaps like a cyan blue with this kind of area of the mat here, maybe, something like that, but yeah, this deck box is garbage. <laughs> uh, Santiago, um, oh shit, son, this guy loves Shadals, look at this deck box, look at this deck box, this guy loves Shadals, shit, son. This guy really likes Shadals. Okay, this is nice. You've uh, you've gone with everything. It's just deep purple. It looks good. It looks good. Um, it's uh, it's definitely above average. Um, but yeah, you know, if you get this is this is how I see it with Konami product mats. Okay, if you're gonna be investing in your hobby, if you really really love Yugo, get yourself a personalized mat. You know, get some fan art mat or something. Go really the extra step further. Get yourself a nice cloth mat um, with a nice little. Uh, color palette that um, that you like, you know, I would probably get something like a black and yellow one, uh, a yellow mat or something like that. Um, those, I just, I think that's the shit. Okay, so this is this is nice. Okay, I, I like the deck box matching the white sleeves. Obviously, just the staple. Very, very good. Uh, Creepy pasta. Yeah. Okay, Robert here, preparing for a weeb deck. So I guess uh, what is this? Your uh, your uh, pre brandish list. I think is what you're trying to tell me here. 
It's like I'm getting ready for Brandish or something, pre-weeb deck, is that what you mean? Because, um, yeah, okay, just the generic staple map, you know, we saw this. This is why Konami mats aren't ideal, because everyone has them, you see? If you're trying to really get the best setup, if you're trying to look like real, real swag at an event, you're going to have a mat that's basically the same as like 20 other people in the room, you know? That's just how I see it, okay? So not really much to get to gain there. Um, yeah, it's a nice deck box. Uh, definitely one of the better ones, but yeah, it's just the mat. It's just, it, I don't know. This is just so average. I look at this and I just think, eh, I'm going to forget about this guy as soon as I walk away from the table kind of thing, okay? One more here. Uh, the black thing is my laptop. My other mat I mainly use in tournaments. Okay, well, I don't even remember which one this was right now, so chances are it wasn't that amazing. Okay, well, that's us going through all the setups. So, um, yeah, thanks everyone to, who entered. We'll probably maybe do this again in a couple weeks or a couple months or something, maybe get some different uh, setups and stuff. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you thought uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't that toxic. Uh, but, you know, I think that's probably how we get it to be the most entertaining is when we're at our at our peak negativity and toxicity. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time.